Hi, Mika here and welcome to Super Chat. In this brief video, I will give you an entire tour of our product and will show you what Super Chat has to offer. On top of that, I will show you why already over 6,000 companies from small businesses to large enterprises use Super Chat to streamline their entire customer communication. So let's not waste any time and let's get right into it. So here I'm already in our Unified Inbox, the heart of Super Chat. It's where all your customers' messages come into one inbox. Starting on the very left-hand side, we have our inbox sidebar. At the very top, we can see all our draft and scheduled messages. And down below, we have all the um, most important filters that you are going to work with. So all conversations, conversations that are assigned to me, conversations that are not yet assigned, and so on and so forth. Down below, we have inboxes. Inboxes are basically a collection of different communication channels that you can use to represent different locations or, for example, different departments. Then continuing here, we have our conversation preview list. We are working with statuses here, open, snoozed, and done, to really keep all your messages organized and structured making it very easy to really collaborate with your entire team. Here we currently have two conversations in open, one on WhatsApp and one on Telegram. Continuing with the chat timeline, you can already see here all the features that we have in place. So we can assign conversation to different uh, users. We can categorize conversations with labels. We can set reminders for conversations when we have to get back to this conversation later. We can change the conversation status and many, many more features that, again, really help to streamline your customer communication that makes uh, communicating with your customers very efficient. Then here we can already see like the conversation uh, that uh, is currently go ongoing here. It's uh, a conversation with myself. Uh, so like here the customer wrote hi and uh, this actually triggered an automation uh, that uh, we will also uh, take a look at, at uh, in a second. Then here um, you can already see one of the superpowers uh, working with uh, the business API of WhatsApp. Here we can really work with quick responses and um, buttons which makes communicating uh, via WhatsApp very effectively not only in support but also recruiting uh, and of course sales. Then down here we have the chat controller where of course I can just uh, send messages. I can work with emojis, with GIFs, I can add attachments, I can record voice messages, can work with templates. So for you know more repetitive questions, I can just set up the templates that I can very easily send out with one click. I can start automations from here uh, and then I have all the superpowers from ChatGPT right in Super Chat. So if I now click on here, I can already see what I can do with it. So can really improve my writing style. I can, can correct spelling, make it shorter, my text, make it uh, longer, change sound, translate the message, and so on and so forth. Then here I have internal notes. Internal notes make it super handy to, you know, just leave a note for one of your colleagues. You can also tag them here so that they are notified kind of cannot see it here in this conversation. Here uh, a, a customer asked for help and I just now tagged Alexander, one of our colleagues, and just asked him uh, if he can just uh, jump into this conversation uh, to help me out. Exactly, that's basically already it. Um, then continuing here on the co uh, with the contact sidebar, here I, of course, can segment my uh, like contacts into different contact lists, very handy, especially if we want to follow up with customers and send out uh, targeted uh, WhatsApp newsletters, for example. Here I can see other ongoing uh, conversations on other channels with that customer here. Um, this customer also wrote me an email. Um, and then here I can uh, see again uh, also here in the banner um, kind of a warning that there's currently an ongoing uh, automation kind of, you know, um, like saying to the agent that's currently working in that conversation that he might not want to interfere uh, with the automation by sending um, like a message. He can, of course, uh, at any time just cancel the automation and just then manually uh, take over the conversation himself. Then here I have all contact information. This is, uh, of course, completely customizable uh, based on your business and based on your preferences. I have all files, uh, notes uh, at hand that were shared in the conversation. And then last but not least, an entire um, you know, history of what automations um, 
um, the contact has been part of. That's already it to the Unified Inbox. Definitely a lot more to cover, but I think this already gives a very good overview of what you can do with it. Uh, now continuing with the team chat. Our team chat is just a way to also not only streamline your customer communication, but also internal co communication. So here you can work with groups, uh, with open or uh, private groups, uh, where multiple colleagues can collaborate and just uh, share ideas. Um, or you know have discussions uh, you can work with emoji reactions you can also work with thread messages um, and then you of course also have one-on-one direct messages down below which makes it, what makes it very handy is that you can kind of bridge the gap between external and internal communication by just very easily you know sharing a message or a conversation with the team chat so if a customer is complaining about something for example and you might want to you know have a deeper discussion on you know how to proceed you can easily uh, very easily do that by sharing the conversation with uh, like an, uh, a colleague or with a group and then you can uh, optionally or um, add uh, an additional message saying, hey, how should we proceed here? And then share it. And then this way, jump very easily uh, in between the team chat and the unified inbox. Now continuing with campaigns, especially very relevant for all of you that really want to use SuperChat also for sales and marketing. You can send out very highly converting WhatsApp newsletters to your customers, but not only that, we also help you to, uh, you know, remain uh, stay GDPR compliant uh, with our growth tools. So, like here, you can set up opt-in methods uh, where we help you gain subscribers uh, for your WhatsApp newsletter. And then, uh, you know, you can very easily send out WhatsApp newsletters to these people uh, and being like 100% GDPR compliant. So here I already prepared something, a product announcement. So here in this case, you know, we have a new product to announce and, uh, you know, we have a discount of 20% uh, that's limited to the two, first 200 people who actually buy something. So here, this is what I already set up here with a button, again, making it very high converting because, you know, the end customer will receive a push notification on his phone, uh, you know, on WhatsApp where you also, you know, messages with friends and family. Uh, and now he can just click on the push notification, click on the button and then do the purchase right away. Here, I already selected, uh, you know, the contacts here in my case, of course, only one. Uh, so that's myself um, and now I can send out the campaign immediately or can you know schedule it for a later point uh, in time. Then let's send this out so that you can actually see how this looks like. So here the campaign was sent out. Now it takes a second. Now, you know, you can already see here it's sent, it was delivered. Now once it's read, I can see this funnel, you know, being updated real time. And then I also can do follow up and drip campaigns by, you know, here selecting all customers that replied or that read the message and then, you know, following up with them. Exactly, that's already it to campaigns. I think uh, next up is automations. So here we already saw, uh, you know, an automation ongoing. Of course, here, don't be confused. This message is now from the WhatsApp newsletter that we just sent out. Uh, but here, you know, the uh, customer sent us uh, a message here, hi. And then, you know, immediately, uh, like the automation was triggered, saying here, welcome to SuperChat. How can we help you today? And then support sales HR, the customer uh, clicked on support and then, you know, another message what was automatically triggered here by this automation. Uh, could you please provide a bit more detail on the kind of support you need? I will be happy to assist you. So here we can see the active automation. So now let's actually take a look how this looks behind the scenes. Uh, view automation. So here we can already see uh, how this looks like. So uh, every time we get a new lead, uh, we will send out this message. That's exactly what happened, uh, what I just showed you a second ago. And then uh, if the customer clicks on support or sales, we will just here um, enable the AI chatbot. Uh, here we selected the AI chatbot that we want to, you know, uh, hand over the conversation to. Uh, and now we can also, you know, extend it, but more on that in a second. And here, if the user clicks on HR, which was not the case in our example, we will just assign the conversation. So now here, what we might want to do here is, you know, 
we have different options here with the AI chatbot uh, that you can see at the bottom right, human handover. So uh, we are listening uh, if the you know end customer or contact says something, hey, I don't want to talk to the AI chatbot anymore. We can hear, you can see there is a new connector popping up. Uh, we can just extend the automation just, you know, by maybe saying, hey, no worries. Uh, we will, uh, you know, uh, we will get back shortly. And then afterwards, what we might want to do is we want to assign the conversation. So here, as you can see, it's very easy. It's drag and drop. And now we can just assign it to myself. And then it's done. Now we can update it. Um, and then we just really, in a couple of seconds, extended the automation. So as you can see here, we really don't need any knowledge. Uh, it's very easy to set up. Exactly. Now, continuing uh, with, you know, context here is just an overview of all your context. Uh, reviews and analytics, I will skip for now, um, but let's go into our settings. So now here we have the web chat. So the web chat is the thing that you can see on our website. So if I open our website here, that's uh, like this uh, web chat widget that you can see at the bottom right corner. This you can really customize completely, you know, uh, so that it's like fits your brand, uh, fits your tone of voice. Uh, and then here you can really add any CTA. Uh, so like a link to your demo booking page and also all channels, you know, from Telegram, email, WhatsApp, Facebook, also a live chat that, you know, uh, chat that works like right on your website this is also possible possible we don't currently have this activated uh, but yeah it's very easy to set up just you know a few clicks away uh, and then all you have to do is install um, a little code snippet into your uh, website and then it's already there exactly and now going back <coughs> to uh, super chat here we just were uh, in web chat uh, then ai chatbot this we already briefly touched on but also super easy to set up so here you can see the AI chatbot that was also part of the automation. So here really just the name support bot. Uh, here the instructions. So here you can really tell the AI chatbot how to behave and what he should do. Here in this case, you are Emma, a friendly and knowledgeable AI assistant designed to help businesses communicate effortlessly with their customers. Your goal is to provide quick, clear and helpful responses while keeping interactions engaging and natural. Then, you know, you can upload, you know, files, you know, FAQs or like other other files um, for you know training the bot so that you really uh, trained on your company's information and you can also uh, link a website just link your website and then we make all the content from your website accessible to the air chatbot so that you really knows everything about your business Exactly. Last but not least, um, like covering integrations. So we have a couple of integrations. Uh, we have a public API for all of you that are a little bit more tech savvy and that really want to build custom solutions with SuperChat. On top of that, we have a Make and Zapier integration for everyone that's not very tech savvy, but still wants to do stuff like uh, once an appointment is booked uh, via, for example, tools like Calendly, that we automatically send out a WhatsApp template, uh, you know, with a booking confirmation and everything via customers. So this is very, very easy to set up with either Make or Zapier. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, we have a direct native HubSpot integration. So if you're using HubSpot as your CRM, uh, you can just integrate uh, with that and then sync all your contacts in between SuperChat and HubSpot, making it super easy. Um, exactly. That's it. Um, I hope this was insightful. If you have any questions, like always remember that you can just use our live chat here at the bottom right. Uh, corner in our settings uh, our support team will uh, respond to you within a couple of minutes and then if you have any questions you know during the setup uh, or during anything uh, or any general questions please always feel free to reach out yeah with that said i hope you have a nice rest of the day and hopefully see you soon greetings from berlin bye bye